today I thought I'd show you a really easy hand reflexology routine that you can do yourself for seasonal allergies like hay fever. Um, really easy to do, you don't need any lotions or potions and let's start with just warming up our hands and I just tend to give my hands a nice rub just to kind of get them ready for the treatment ahead. Now I'm going to be working on my left hand but you need to do this treatment on both hands. Um, there is one move that you only do on one hand and I'll, and I'll talk you through it when we get to it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to work on our sinuses for obvious reasons. Now our sinuses are in our fingers and the easiest way to do those is just to give them a really nice rub and a twist. Do whatever feels comfortable, you know the pressure is totally up to you, light, heavy, gentle, whatever suits you. If you are doing this on a family member though, do check in with them and make sure that they're happy with the pressure. I tend to start lighter, especially with children and, and work the pressure up from there. So once we've done our sinuses on one hand, we need to do them on the other. The next thing we're gonna work on is our head. Now our head is in our thumbs. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do um, cross hatching and cross hatching just means going one way and then the other. But we're gonna use a technique called finger walking or thumb walking. So just pretend your, your finger or your thumb is, is a caterpillar. So we're gonna walk up. Doesn't matter if you walk up or walk down. I don't think it does anyway. Other people may argue. And then you're gonna walk across. Okay, really, really easy. I'm going quite quickly, you might want to slow this down. Each of these moves probably takes between 30 seconds and a minute and you only really want to do it once a day. Don't do it any more than that, you don't, you don't need to. You need to give your body a chance to respond. So once we've walked, we've cross-hatched the head, okay, all the way to the top, on one hand, you're going to repeat it on the other. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to work on the diaphragm and lungs. Now if you remember from a previous post, this is your diaphragm line here. So we're going to walk that diaphragm line and we're just going to carry on up to make sure that we get over the whole of the lungs. Okay, so we've gone one direction and now we're going to go another direction. You might find it easy to do it this way around. Like I said, it doesn't matter. We're just cross hatching that area, thumb walking or finger walking. It doesn't matter. Once we've done the lungs on one side, we're going to do them on the other. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to work on the face because obviously that's where our nose and our eyes are. And the face is here in terms of hand reflexology. So you can either cross hatch that area using the finger walking technique that we talked about, or you can rub into it using your finger or your thumb, whatever feels right for you. Once you've done one thumb, you do the other. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna work into the throat. Now the throat has its own reflex point, which is, sorry, here on both sides, and you can press into it. You can rub into it with your finger or your thumb, or you can just pinch into it, up to you, doesn't matter. And then after that, we're gonna work into the eyes and the reflex for the eyes is here on both hands. Same thing with the throat, you can rub into it with your finger or your thumb, you can pinch into it, you can just press into it, doesn't matter. But do one side and then the other. After that, we're going to look at the hypothalamus and the pituitary glands, and they're involved in the allergic response, which is why we work on those, and they sit in your brain. Um, and they're on the outside edge of your thumb, roughly about here. You may feel a little bit of sensitivity, and again, I tend to just rub into that area, or press. Okay, first one side, and then the other. And then after that, we're gonna work into the lymphatic section of our, of our hands. And the lymphatic section runs between each finger. Okay, you can feel it kind of in between the bones. So I tend to just use my fingers and finger walk down them. And you can do this two or three times. If you find any areas that are particularly sensitive, you can work into them. Again, just the pressure is up to you in terms of what pressure you use. And then we're gonna work into our spleen. Now the spleen is the only area of the body, sorry, the spleen is the only point in this routine where we just do one move because you only have one spleen. All right, and your spleen's on your left hand and it's just below that diaphragm line, just in this area here. 
and again you can thumb or you can finger walk that area or if you prefer you can press into it do little circles or just rub over it gently but this is the only move where you just do that on your left hand after working into your spleen we're going to work into our kidneys and our adrenals now if you look um, where your thumb is there's a kind of fatty pad for want of a better way of describing it so this line here is the line we're working on now if you just walk up it gently there'll be a point where you'll probably find a little sweet spot and by that I mean a spot that it feels really tender but it feels quite nice to press into it once you've found that area that is where your kidneys and, ad and adrenals are and you can just walk this area if you want to if it feels really tender if you want to you can press in and again the pressure that you use depends on you um, and really when you're doing this with a member of your family really check in with that because it can be very painful for some people so don't be all gung-ho and just go pressing in just working it um, from light pressure through to a firmer pressure and then that's it when you're done you just end as you started and we're just going to give our hands a nice rub again there's no lotions or potions needed for this especially with children who are going to put their fingers in their mouths so you don't need any lotions or potions and then you're done I hope that was useful um please contact me if you've got any information or if you'd like a, um, a treatment focusing on on hay fever or seasonal allergy symptoms i've used bowen really successfully and i don't need to take any tablets my symptoms have really reduced over the years um, but things like bowen therapy reflexology even holistic facials because we're working on all those sinus areas they're all things that can actually help both as a short-term method of helping your symptoms and as a more longer term holistic approach to kind of dealing with things like seasonal allergies. Take care, see you soon, bye.